Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your midday market update for Wednesday the 21st of September. Well, all eyes are on the Fed and it's Will We Twist Again like we did last summer. It's a great song. Uh, however, that's the big news. 12, uh, 2.15 Eastern Standard Time, that's when the report comes out. You know, it seems though the entire world is waiting to see what the Fed is going to do today at 2.15 when they're supposedly going to make this big announcement. Now this is always the technician's dilemma. Do I leave my positions on intact with stops or do I take them off and take my profits before a major announcement? Let me show you this little story with you. One of the most successful traders I've ever known was a gentleman who traded all the markets, and I mean all the markets, strictly on the charts. He didn't listen to the news, didn't care about the news, and certainly didn't care about what Ben Bernanke was about to say this afternoon. He simply went with the big trends, based on the thesis that one should remain short the equity markets and remain long the gold markets with the appropriate money management stuff. So we're saying the trends in gold are up and the equity markets are down, so that's the way you should be. As traders, we are bombarded with news, some of which is useful, but most of it is just fluff to fill a bear space time. You know, one item that caught my eye this morning that I'd like to share with you that hasn't really made the main, main media right now is... Lloyd's of London, that's the insurance company. They were founded in 1688 in a London coffee house. You know, they've gone through wars, boom and bust cycles, every known money mania known to man, and have always managed to survive. So here's what the article claimed. Lloyd's of London is taking their cash out of the European banks this morning. You can read the article on our blog. Quite frankly, this is both shocking, but not surprising given Lloyd's survival instincts. If Lloyd's of London is doing this, one of the most conservative companies run by some of the smartest people on the planet, maybe it's an early warning sign about what could potentially happen in Europe. Anyway, it's something to think about. Now let's go to the six major markets we track and update every single trading day and see how we can create and maintain your wealth in 2011. So here we are, as always, we're starting on my homepage, Adam Hewison. It's approximately 12.43. Doing a little bit early today because I have to, uh, I've got an appointment I have to get to, but I want you to get this uh, this report out to you, which I think is very, very important. So let's go to our portfolio manager. Here are the six markets we talk about. And we're going to go to the first one, which is the S&P 500, which is down. Now, what we mention here is for the past six weeks, the S&P 500 has been moving in a sideways action. So every 10 or 12 days, the market will make a new high. So you can see right here, here, and here. And then it comes down. Boom, boom. I think a similar pattern is going to happen again. Uh, if that's true, then the pullback should last for another five or six days. And um, it'll be to the downside, of course. But uh, again, the announcement that comes out of the Fed today at 2.15 could change things dramatically. But I have to go with the technical aspect of the market because that's the way to trade, in my opinion. Now, with a minus the plus 60 score, we're in a trading range, which means you should use the Donchian trading channels, which we have on the screen right now, and also the Williams percent R. So again, longer term traders should either be short this market from the 1258 level or out. Intermediate traders should be on the sidelines as well as short term traders. See, the trade channels really tell you what to do. You don't have to guess. There's no guesswork. There's no wondering what to do. The trade channels tell you what to do. And if that's not enough, you just click on a little voice here. This chart receives a score of plus 60, which indicates that there is not a definable steady trend at this time. This market will most likely reach a crossroads in the near term if it hasn't already. You may want to exit a position and move to the sidelines or use an alternative technical analysis study if you wish to continue trading. Also, please remember to use proper money management techniques. So there you have it. There's our talking chart technology live. All you have to do is just click on this little button on any market, any time during the day. It changes constantly, of course, but those updates are there 24-7 for you on 258,000 symbols that we track right now on Market Club, soon to be the Australian market as well, as well ASX. So let's clear this off the screen, go to our next market. And the next market is going to be silver. We talked about silver before. We thought this market was kind of like building a base. Uh, a couple of things have happened here. One, the weekly trade trial has gone negative. Uh, not particularly a good sign. However, the monthly is the long-term trend, and that still remains long from 1874. 
Now, with a counter trend move like this, it's saying intermediate, trade, intermediate term traders should be out as well as short term traders should be out of the market or even short. However, we've popped outside of the Donchian trade channels. We've gone from a very oversold condition to possibly a little bullish divergence. You see that? And let me just illustrate that for you real quickly. So normally when you have prices that are coming down like this, lower prices, and then you have a divergence that's going like this, it indicates that the momentum for a market is probably over with. Now here we are at the bottom of the trading range. We have a minus 60, which tells you it's a trading range with the trade triangles and we're looking for a potential pop-up from these current levels. So I would say chances are that we're close to a cyclic low. Uh, chances are the announcement that comes out this afternoon could be very positive uh, in terms of the metals. Again, the trend, big trend is up, remember that. And I think we'll see how that comes out at 2.15. I'm going to go to the next market. And the next market for us, of course, is the gold market. And here we have the gold market in a similar scenario, sort of we have this what potentially could be a very large energy field. Uh, we talked about this before, this area right here as an energy field uh, with the lower end of the trading triangle, or lower end of the, sorry, lower end of the Donchian trading channel. And I think the potential next pop could be on the upside here. All of our indicators, the monthly and the weekly, are still positive. Unlike the silver market, this is still very positive, indicating the trend is going to go higher. So I think there's a good chance that we're going to see this market pop, probably to the upside, and certainly testing this level here. If this is correct, and this is, in fact, an energy field, I think this is going to be the capable of carrying the market north of $2,000 an ounce, which we've all talked about for quite some time. So let's see, 2,000 is a big round number. Of course, people like round numbers in trading. So that could be the magnet that's gonna pull this market up. So let's clear this off the screen and go to our next market. And that's going to be the crude oil market. And crude oil is kind of like, again, uh, it's really not defined. And I'm gonna scope this down just a little further so you see the Williams percent R. But you can see right now we sort of kind of rolling over, really not a strong defined trend. Uh, we've got a minus 75. Uh, it's a mixed bag. Our weekly's up. Our monthly is down. Our daily's down. So the chances are I think we're going to see another push down here and get this into an oversold condition similar to where we were here and back here. And that's going to maybe change the dynamics. But right now I think if the market breaks or the trend in the equity market continues down, then the, the perceived value of crude oil is going to be less because demand should be less based on the economics of the marketplace. So let's see how that plays out. But again, uh, this has just been very, very uh, kind of sideways, choppy market. And I think generally speaking, we'll have to just see how this works out. But uh, I, I still like the market uh, longer term. However, the 84 to 8450 level is support. So right around here is short term support. And of course, major support to me would be right around these levels around the eight, just just below the 84 level uh, with the Donchian tra trading channels. But if we get in an oversold condition, we come down here like this, for example, and we break below this, I think probably would be an opportunity to maybe uh, take a little shot uh, short term, but generally speaking, be careful of these markets. They're going to be very volatile. I think probably they're volatile before the announcement. I think they're going to be even more volatile afterwards. But we see, I think the general trends will persist and we'll see crude oil move to the downside. So let me clear this off the screen, go to our next market. The next market we're looking at, of course, is going to be the dollar index. I'm going to scope this up. And again, this market is just really biding its time. I'm going to put this on a line chart to show you, and I want to just take this the channel off here because it's a lot of lines here, so it sometimes gets complicated. But uh, we'll put the parabolic on here, and you can see on the parabolic, uh, you've had a little bit of a sell signal. Uh, you've got the market over the over the highs here. We're looking for a close over this level here. If we see a close over the 7760 area, which is right here, I would consider that to be very bullish. So if we go like this. Boom, this is another leg up in the dollar, which we think will happen. We generally think this is a huge energy base, which we talked about before. The breakout uh, came right around the 76 area, and we can, which is right here. 
and it's still very much intact. I would not like to see this market close below 76. So if it came down here like this, I would be disappointed to say the least. I don't think that's going to happen though. But we'll see. The markets sometimes move in mysterious ways as we reported yesterday. So let's take the, everything off the screen, go to our next market. And the next market we're going to be looking at, of course, is the CRB index. And we're going to put this into a, it's the Reuters Jeffries CRB index, uh, which is a commodity index uh, made up of a, a number of different commodities, uh, livestock, grains, and so forth. But the crude oil market plays a very important element in this particular. It's very heavily weighted in crude oil. So if crude oil is down, chances are this index is going to be down. If it's up, chances are the index is going to be up to a certain degree. But you can see that the trend is clearly on the downside. Uh, we have our all of our trade triangles, monthly, weekly, and daily are all negative. Minus 100 means a strong trend is in place. I, we've been looking for this market. I'll close this. Let's scope this out. Let's go to six months. Uh, looking for this to test this level right here, which is the 300 level. Uh, potentially, but again, we're very close, and this is what I want to put the Donchian trade channels on. So I, I really like this tool, and we've used it quite a lot, and it's been very successful for us. So here we are. We're at the lower end of the Donchian trade channel. We're also, if I can scope this up, very oversold, and this is the important thing to look at. And I'm going to put my illustrator on, and if what is announced at 215, which potentially could be there. Uh, it could be a sign of inflation is going to come in. Right now, it's a deflationary market that we're looking at, but uh, it could be just be in a trading range. And let's just ma let me just draw this on the screen that I see. Basically, if we look back at this index, we look at this level as being low. We just take this down to here. This level being low, take this down to here. This level being low, take this down to here. So generally speaking, I think we're going to take this level down here, and maybe we'll go do this. But eventually, I think we'll see a pop up and maybe another retracement. But I think we could potentially go a little further on the downside. Uh, but we'll have to wait. It's too early to tell. But certainly the major trend based on our trade triangles is on the downside. So hey, listen, we got a show tonight. It's a very special show um, we're going to be doing at uh, a little earlier. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be covering a lot of different markets, certainly be covering the announcement from the Fed. Uh, we'll be doing that in more details for you and uh, following up on what the markets did after that. I think you'll want to watch the show. It's at 5 o'clock tonight, so please stay tuned for that and come back and see the show. But right now, I'd like to just share with you, you know, in times like this, oh, hold on, i got to take this off the screen, but in times like this, you really want to look at one-on-one -on -one coaching because it really can help you. When I started my career, years and years ago, decades ago now, I was lucky enough to have someone help me. Before that, I was just floundering around, really not being successful, thinking I was new at all, but didn't know anything. But then I had someone took me under their wing and said, look, Alan, I'll show you how to trade. And I was enormously grateful. It just gives you that extra added confidence. And confidence in the markets is everything. It really is. Knowing when you put a position on, knowing that you're knowing what you want to do, when to put get in, and knowing when you want to get out. It's very, very comforting to have that kind of background and have that kind of expertise that you can take anywhere. You can hand this down to your children. It's really good. Why don't you give us a call? 1-877-219-1482. Speak to one of our consultants. It's a free call. It's a free consult consultation. See if it's right for you. Who knows? Hey, this is Adam Hewison. I'll see you at 5 o'clock. Have a great trading day.